You'll get used to it. Good morning, Willow. What'd you do, lay eggs too? You dairy beef and eggs? You ready to be milked? All right, let's do this. Get the little guy out first. We got guests this morning. It's making him, throwing him off a little bit. Okay, uh, Norris. Let's check your stuff, man. How you doing down there? Yep, almost done with those things, buddy. I'm sorry to say. You meeting everybody? Oh, no. Missed, missed the gate. Come on. There you go, honey. Good job. Okay, so this morning I'm gonna try something a little different. Maybe a little strange. It was certainly a little strange for me. I saw this video of Joanne Grumman, pretty much the family cow lady. She's 85 years old, been keeping a family cow all her life, wrote the book. Uh, her life revolves around the animals, but one thing she does is she has recognized that, that cows are such good mothers. You know, they take good care of their calves. Um, they keep them healthy. So what one thing Joanne Grumman does and has been doing for years and has stayed very healthy. She's 85 years old, she's still farming, she's still working on the kitchen, is she kisses the nose, okay? And the mother creates the antibodies for in, to fight any pathogens that may be in the calf. So Willow, will you adopt me? Will you let me kiss you on the nose? Oh man, it is, it is sweaty or snotty this morning. That is gonna be interesting. Nobody said I could wipe it off. You just gotta get my juice, right? You just gotta get my juice and put it in your milk and you'll fight anything I'm fighting, right? And I'll drink your milk and I'll be healthier in theory, okay? It's gonna be interesting to try to kiss you with the, uh, the horns and all. So I'm gonna give this to my lovely assistant and I'm gonna kiss you. It's not in all. Oh, come here, will you adopt me? You'll get used to it. That was kind of sloppy. That was kind of like, you know, that was like kissing my dad. He gives the, he gives us, you know, when I was a kid, he gave the, the sweetest, or my mom, you know, they, they like to give the sweetest, juiciest kiss, you know. Okay, so have you, have you guys ever milked a cow? I'm not, just a goat. This is a whole new beast for me. Okay, you want to try it? Absolutely. Okay, she's ready. She's anxious. She's ready to get this done and out in the field eating. Oh look, she gave us a little present. You're just gonna show us. You don't like the kissing at first? <laughs> Me either. Maybe we'll get used to it together, okay? Oh look, we got a mucker. She's mucking the manure. Here, here just put it right here in this corner. I'll get it later today. Have you milked before? I have not. You gonna give it a try? Sure. Cool. Yep. So I'm washing her up. She's a little sensitive this morning. See, see that? I'm putting on the teat dip. After I've washed her up, just to make sure I've gotten all the anything I might have missed off. But she's, uh, I'm gonna have to get her started without the bucket, because she's kicking. She's either got a cut on this, or it's so full, it's like really full this morning, that she's, uh, it's hurting her. So we're gonna relieve her a little bit before we put the, the milk bucket in there. What are you saying? Who is that talking? Is that you, Mama? Mama. Yeah. You poor thing. I'm gonna try holding the bucket with one hand, holding her back foot off with the same hand I'm milking with. My left hand. Seems to be this one that's causing the most problem, so. See, I got my left hand there, holding the foot back. Okay. And she's irritated by it. But we can't let the milk stay in there. She might not even let the calf nurse because then she'll get mastitis if, we can't, if she doesn't get this milk out of here. And then you have to milk at your own risk. Why don't you just milk at first just right onto the, the, one. To the floor? Okay. My hands are so cold. I'm sorry, darling. So, okay. I know it's not like a pull so much as it is. She's a... letting you. Yeah, you want to cut it off at the top. Okay. So you'll squeeze first with your thumb and your forefinger. Okay. And now squeeze with the, re with the rest. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta plug it up so it doesn't shoot back up in there when you oh, squeeze. So as it squeezes <coughs> off and yep, then... There okay. you go. You yeah. got it. So she's been kind of kicky this morning, so that's unusual. So she's definitely, definitely a little fuller than usual. Okay, you doing it? Yeah. Hold this bucket for her in case she kicks. Like doing too, too many things at once here. Holding the bucket, holding the camera, 
teaching somebody how to milk. <laughs> you slowly and steadily getting it. Should I go with the same one? Yeah, that's the easiest one. Nice. Perfect. Awesome. The first timer right here. Never milked a goat, never milked a cow. Got it in his first squeeze. She must have been walking through some briars. It's so dry because it's so cold. So we're gonna treat that here in a second with some homemade utter cream. We've got healing utter cream. The beautiful one's homemade cream. All kinds of good oils in here. Did you kiss the cow? Oh yeah, snotty mess. Do you wanna kiss the cow? Hey Willow, before we part, you don't have nothing to do with me. Just kiss and depart. I just realized it's, it's uh, Valentine's Day. So, happy Valentine's Day, sweetheart. So appropriate. Our first kiss on Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Lego party in the house. Look at this. Building a nice crane to load the boat. All right, Princess Chef. You may pour in the eggs. Oh, did it get you? All right, pour in the eggs and it won't spray up anymore. You help, okay? You're helping. Yay. Now you can stir it. Look at this whole water, man. There's probably six inches of ice in there. That's nuts. Hey, let's dump it out. Let's see if we can dump it out. I'm just gonna leave it here and let it drain. There's probably four inches of ice there. There it went. Yay! Look! Look how thick, guys! Woo! Hey, what are my two favorite Valentine's doing? I'm making strawberry crepe cake. Yeah! Wait, I'm helping you. Yes? I want to hold pepper again. You do? Well, we're running out of peppers. I can't do that, buddy. We gotta I'll save them to, for the salads. I'll have, to buy, I'll have to buy you. She'll buy some special for you, buddy. Yummy! <laughs> Look what I made. Man, that's cool. I helped. You gonna say about it? Well, I, I, I helped, helped it so the wings could think, but I saw this in like a Lego book. Man, is that a finished crepe right there? This. Sweet. So here's your mix going on. It's like really thin pancakes. Yeah. Nice. This one might not have turned out so good. So I, I might have to eat that one. I'll just eat it. You know, it won't go. This is all gonna end up in the cake, huh? Yep. There'll be layers. It'll be one of these with some whipped cream and some strawberries. Mm. And then another one with cream Ooh, and strawberries. I get it. And it'll be all layered up. Oh. I don't know how it's gonna cut though. You poor thing, you're gonna have to eat this one all by yourself. What's going on? <laughs> He's in some mood. He's in some happy mood. You pulling him around the house with the blanket? <laughs> Oh, here's what's happening, folks. What are you cooking? We got guacamole going in right now. You and the princess. The queen and the princess in the kitchen. Guacamole must be uh, Mexican. Mm. Our favorite. Chicken tortillas. Hey, oh, look at this guy making the table. Oh, we got our homemade beeswax candles. Oh, we got a dancer here. Show him your moves. A little less than halfway through making the crepe cake. I kind of made this up. Oh, you love these strawberries, man. Make and none. Don't that's for him. <laughs> more strawberries. All right, I think that's it. Happy Valentine's Day. This is one reason she loves to help me cook, <laughs> isn't it? Okay. What do you guys think? It's good. The finished goods. Oh my word. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm wondering if the wick is too long, but. Now can I turn the light off? Uh, yeah, in just a second. Let me get this other one. That one. Ow. <laughs> yeah, it got me. Ooh, got the romantic music going. Got the new beeswax candles flowing. 
Can I have a nice dinner? I, uh, we gotta get you in your seat, buddy. The candles are blazing. Hot. <laughs>